All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do Code Academy Lesson 10, Part 2, while we're here. So we're going to do, work with uh, while loops. Uh, get out your notes, write 10 to while we're here at the top of your notes, write your name, and then I'll sign them off after you write down an intelligent question. Speaking of an intelligent question, um, make sure you do this part where you do the intelligent question. And let's go ahead and take a peek at what we're doing here. All right, so we're going to come over here to Code Academy. We're going to go Part 2. And we're going to read this stuff at the top. We're going to read this stuff at the top. We're going to read this stuff at the top. And then we're going to get started with it. So make sure you read that. Ask me an intelligent question um, and have that signed off. <coughs> and let's, so now that we've taken a look and kind of seen what a while loop looks like. Here's the thing too, by the way. Um, they've taught us this whole how to import the, the random library and how to use the random number generator so we're going to do this in our little code academy or pardon me our jdoodle project so let's take a peek and see what that's all about all right um answer these questions first what's the same between a while loop and an if statement what's different and then what is an infinite loop what causes it why is that bad answer those questions and then let's open jdoodle and okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the random library so let's do this together so let me let me uh, do this. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna move this over here so I can I can see it. I'm moving out of the way, and then let's go to um, JDoodle. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna save this as, and we're gonna save it as. Yeah! Sorry, Whew, that was a terrible sneeze. Code Academy ten two. Okay, so we're gonna save that. Okay, save as. Okay, and then we're going to come over here, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit enter, and then we're going to come over here to Code Academy, and we're going to copy this import statement. Oh, there's not let us go. Oh, there we go. Import java.util.random. So we want the random number generator. Okay, let's go back over here, and we're going to place that right at the top. Import java.util.random. Okay. Um, and so what we're going to do is let's let's go back here. It says create a variable. Let me show it to you. All right. So create a variable i and set it to a random number between 1 and 100. Okay. All right. So it's going to be an integer variable. And so let's do that. So let's, and we're going to put that. So here is the main method. <coughs> so we're going to click right here and we're going to say int i. Oh, wait. We already have that. <coughs> we already have it right here. So. I'll just do this in I. Okay. And then we're gonna set the we're gonna set the value of I. So you're gonna say I equals oh you know what we need to do? Um, we actually need to make a random number generator object and then we can use that object to give us a random number. So let's let's go back over here to Code Academy and steal the code. So so we say um, random so random is the name of our of our uh, library that we just got, so we imported the random library. Okay, so random, random, gem, equals new random. So that this is the code we need to do to instantiate a, a random um, object, and we're going to name it random generator. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to come over here, um, here. You, so we're going to do that right. Uh, we'll probably do it right here. Create a variable for how many iterations are written. Okay, so we're gonna do that right here. Okay, so we have this guy called random generator. And so this guy is our object, and if we ask him to create us a random number, he will. So sometimes it'll be zero, sometimes it'll be one, sometimes it'll be a hundred. Um, so let's take a look at, at back at over here how to do that. Um, okay, so we're gonna say generator dot next in six plus one. So let's copy that. And we're gonna paste it over here. Okay, so so we have our integer i, and so i is going to equal our random gem generator dot next in six. So um, this is going to be from zero to five. Okay, so we have zero, one, two, three, four, five. There's that. What is that? That's six different numbers, right? It goes from zero to five. So it's kind of goofy that it says six, but it never makes it up to six. So that's why they said six plus one. Because that then instead of giving you starting with zero, now you start at one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get the same number 
of random numbers. Okay, so that's what they did. So what we're going to do is we want it to be between uh, 1 and 100. So we're going to go right here and type in 100. Okay, um, and so then down here we have a while loop while i is less than 100. Okay, so if this was, so the crazy thing is, is if this produces a 1, it's going to do it 100 times. If this produces a 100, it's it's going to do it zero times. So some, so every now and then it won't even run the loop because I, the value of I is different. So what we're doing is we're, it's going to, this while loop, depending on what this number generates, so, that, so anyway, we'll figure it out. Okay, so this is going to tell us how many, This is not right. Hold on. Let me think this through. Okay, I was I was goofed up here. We're pretty close, but so what we're gonna do is we need we need so what we're gonna do is change this number. So this number is gonna start at zero, one, two, three, but we need to change this, make this random. How many times it goes through? I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Um so we're gonna say we still need our int i. We're going to do another one called uh, int iteration. Okay. And so we're going to say iteration. Oh, i got to put a semicolon. So we're going to say iterations equals that. Okay. And then, so int I, we got to change this to int i equals zero. Bear with me here. Okay. So while zero is less than iteration. So... So what this is going to do is this is always going to start at zero, and if this generates a five, well, it's going to go through one, two, three, four, five times. If this generates an a hundred, then it's going to I is going to have to go through it a hundred times. Okay, so this is this is what I had intended. I'm not sure what I was doing. Okay, so while I is less than iterations. Okay, so what we're going to do now is let's take a look at the instructions. It says. Um, Create two integer variables that will hold uh, die roll one and die roll two. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to say up here where we're creating our variables, we're going to say int die roll one, and we're going to say int die. Int die okay, and so what we're going to do is inside our loop. Um, we're going to generate a random number. So we're going to say die roll one equals just copy this code equals our random number generator dot next hit and it needs to be six okay but you can't roll a zero so we're going to say plus one and then we're going to do the same thing for die roll two. So we're going to roll two dice. Okay. And we're going to change this to die roll two. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to print out the results. Okay. So we're going to do our system dot out line. Um, and it says uh, it's going to say your first roll. And then we're going to put in die roll one. Okay, so okay, so your first roll was die roll one, and then we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to print out our die roll two. Okay. Okay, and then let's get rid of this. All right, let's see. Let's see if that actually works. Let's see if any other. Oh, well. Okay, so you can see that we got a, a higher... Oh, you know what we should do? Here's what I'm going to do. Let's figure out how many times this thing's going to run. Okay, so I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is going to say... Um, you will get... And then I'm going to say iterations. Iterations... 
plus terms. Okay. All right. And so let's try that. And so we're going to see how many iterations we're going to get. Okay. So we're going to set, we, so we basically, we're going to run through this loop 79 times. So if we keep executing it, it's going to go through it a random number of times, 94 turns, 25 turns. So you can see that's not a lot of turns. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you know what I forgot is my I plus plus. Oh, shoot. So I'm going to say I plus plus. I think I was getting infinite terms there. Because we got to. Let's try this again. Yeah, okay. So now it's actually. it was. I created an infinite loop because I forgot. Why is it always 35? That's weird. Oh. I was looking at, let me get rid of this. I don't need this anymore. That's confusing. All right, let's, let's execute it. So 86 turns, 46 turns, yeah. So you can see that it does a turn that quick. Okay, so that's good so far. Um, and it's telling us our role. We have a five and a two, a three and a three. Okay, so now if we look at the instructions. We want to um, create an if statement that will print the win if the two roles match and lose if they don't. All right. So, and then we could also, let's count up the, the win. So, like, let's say int wins equals zero. Okay, so then over here we're going to, we're going to, Come in here, and we're going to say, okay, we're going to put in an if statement. If, and the condition is die roll one equals equals die roll two. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to have our curly brace, and we, it automatically put in our closing curly brace. We're going to do our system dot out that print line. Um, you win. Okay. And then the, then what we want to do is add up the number of wins. And so we're going to say win plus plus. So we're going to add it. So every time, every time they match, you get a win. And then we're going to say else. And we have an opening bracket. And our closing bracket. And you, of course, should put something different. And then at the very end, after outside the loop, so we don't want to do this inside the loop. So we're going to get outside of our loop right here. So we only want this to happen once. Um, we're going to say you one and then you're gonna say plus win that's something like that. All right, so let's see if that works. Cannot find symbol win on line twenty eight. Oh it's wins. Okay, so on 20 light, it's wins, and then wins. All right, let's execute that. Okay, so I only won one time, so I, so I won, I lost, I lost. So it generated a three. So, the, so it'd be interesting. Go through this and see if you can figure out what's going on with it. Um, it's kind of cool. But see if you can do it. And then let's see, let's see who can get the most, the highest number of wins. Oh, wow. I got, look at that, I won 13 times, lucky 13. All right, so that's what I want you guys to do. And then we're going to come over to Code Academy, and we're going to go ahead and finish this project up. All right, so it says to um, take a look at the lucky5.java. We've set up a random number generator that allows you to simulate the role of a die. Create a while loop that, that will continue to loop while die roll is not 5. Okay, all right, so... Right here, repeat while rule. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do while. We have our while loop, 
and then um, so we're going to do die roll and it says not equal to so we're going to use the x so not equal to five okay and then we're going to do our opening curly brace and then hit enter um, take a create a while loop that will continue do not run your code yet you will get an infinite loop here because the value of die rolls never changed Okay, so inside the loop, we set die roll with a new random value between one and six. Okay, so we're going to say we have to we're going to copy this code inside here. So each time we have to create a new value for die roll. Uh, okay, so now I'll run the code. Let's see if it likes that. Okay, so nothing nothing's happened yet, but let's see. So inside the while loop above the line where you reset die roll, print out the die roll to the terminal. Okay. So then we're gonna so before we do this we're gonna say system dot out dot right. something like that. Oops, that's not it. Okay, and then we're gonna hit run. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't capitalize system. Okay, and so... Okay, so notice it runs a, a variety of times here. So sometimes it, that time it didn't run at all. It was five on the first one. So that one it ran, rolled a six and a four before it got to a five. All right. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you.